In this video, I'm going to estimate cap M in Excel, and then I'm going to estimate the Fama French three factor model. What I've done so far is I have gone to Kenneth French's data website and downloaded the three risk factors that go into the Fama French three factor model. That's the market risk factor, RMRF, the SMB risk factor, that small minus big risk factor, and the high minus low risk factor. Kenneth French's data also includes the, uh, the risk-free rate, which is really convenient because what I'm going to be estimating in this, um, in this exercise is CAPM and the Fama French three-factor model on a portfolio of small cap stocks. So in order to estimate CAPM, I need to first calculate the excess return. I'm going to be calculating the portfolio's excess return on the market risk factor plus a constant. So to calculate the, the portfolio's excess return, I just take the portfolio's return in this particular month and I subtract off the risk-free rate. This is going to be our dependent variable in the regression of excess returns on a constant plus the market risk factor. So to do this in Excel, you first need to install the data analysis tool pack. If you haven't done that, that can be found over here on file, options, and then add-ins. And if you don't have it, um, I already have it installed. You can go to go and install the analysis tool pack. Mine's already installed. So I'm going to run a CAPM regression um, by first hitting the uh, data analysis um, uh, tool pack, going down to regression, hitting OK. So my Y variable here, my dependent variable, is going to be my small cap portfolio's excess returns. My X variable, or my uh, input X range right here, this is going to be my market risk factor. Now I've included labels to make it, uh, make it easy to work with. Um, now all I've got to do is hit OK. And I have the summary output from the, the CAPM estimation in Excel. And this is for that small uh, cap portfolio. Now I find that the, the beta of this cap M is about 1.37. Don't really have much in, um, intuition for that, but what's really surprising is the alpha. This intercept term is our alpha. This alpha is 43 basis points and it's statistically significant, which you can tell by the P value here. It's statistically significant at conventional levels. This doesn't make much sense because this is an easy to implement investment strategy. You're just buying small cap companies. So I think something's going on here and I think that is we're omitting a risk factor. We're omitting a small company risk factor. So in order to, to determine if this alpha here or what we think is alpha, this 43 basis points, is actually return without taking on additional systematic risk or some sort of risk, I want to run the Fama French three-factor model. So I go back to my sheet and I'm going to run another regression. So I'm gonna go over here to the data analysis tool pack run another regression. My Y variable is going to be that portfolio's excess return. Now my X variable is not going to be just the market risk factor. Now I'm gonna include the market risk factor, the SMB risk factor, and the HML risk factor. These are all three of the risk factors that go into the Fama French three-factor model. Now I'm going to drag those down. I'm going to make sure this labels uh, checkbox is checked because I am including labels. And this is the summary output from estimating that Fama French three-factor model. Um, this RMRF, this is our exposure to the market risk factor. It's now about one. 
we do have positive exposure to the small company risk factor, which is not terribly surprising because this is a portfolio of small cap stocks. So we would expect to have a positive and substantial exposure to the small minus big risk factor. What's interesting about um, uh, adding this small minus big risk factor, the small company risk factor, is that once we include that small minus big risk factor, the intercept, which is our alpha, disappears. It's no longer statistically significant at conventional levels. This makes sense. The small cap portfolio was an easy to implement investment strategy, and so we would not expect to have any alpha. Um, uh, as I harp on in my class, that alpha is generated through creating private information. In this case, there is no private information. We're investing in a very, very simple investment strategy. So once we control for the small company risk factor by including that SMB risk factor, our alpha disappears, which is what we expect. When we estimated cap M without including that small company risk factor, it did appear like we were earning excess returns from this investment strategy. But in actuality, all we were doing was omitting a risk factor that, that this portfolio loaded on. So in this video, what I've done is I have calculated or um, estimated a cap M model, uh, both the alpha and the beta using Excel. And then I've estimated the Fama French three factor model. Um, I will include a link to where to get these risk factors. They're on Kenneth French's data website. And you can, um, in this example, I was using a portfolio of small cap companies. You can do this for individual stocks. You can do this for individual portfolios. You can do this for mutual funds, for uh, ETFs, any sort of, of stock return. The process is the same. First, you get those returns. Then you make sure that those returns are lined up appropriately with the the risk factors from Kenneth French's website. Then you calculate the excess returns, which is simply that portfolio's returns minus the risk-free rate. And then you run a regression using the data analysis tool pack in Excel. I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for watching.